Mount, Mount Buffalo Gorge with my friend Ryan. We are just about to walk down into the bottom of the gorge to climb Aussie Mandaeus, the big obvious uh, white and orange line. We're taking two days to do it, so we'll be taking up a portal edge to sleep on the cliff and looking forward to it. Aussie Mandaeus is one of the must-do big wall climbs in Australia and you need a fair bit of gear to climb it. Remember kids, just say no to aid climbing. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Rope, got a backpack. It's pretty heavy. That's literally what you're wearing while you're climbing as well. <laughs> just to get to the start of the climb is an adventure in itself. This is why I like adventure climbing because it takes you to these places that nobody else gets to go to. Amazing. Beautiful. And when you reach the bottom of the gorge and look up, it's pretty inspiring. How are you feeling? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think I'll work it out on the way, you know? I've watched a few videos, I've got some expert mentorship, and I think <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have a good day. Okay. So for aid climbing, you're placing gear every few metres for protection in case you fall. Gear is small bits of metal and wire which you place into cracks and holes and clip your rope into. It all works on friction. And if placed correctly, when you fall, the gear will hold. So Ryan's about halfway up the second pitch. Um, he's got done about 40 meters of climbing off the ground so far, and he's got about 20 meters to go. Oh God, that is so gross. After this, he is gonna pull up the haul bag, so all our gear to sleep overnight, and I'm gonna ascend the rope after him and take all the gear out that he used as protection in case he fell. There are 10 pitches on Aussie Mandaeus, which is 281 metres of climbing to reach the top. Our plan is to climb 150 metres today and spend the night hanging on the wall. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Woo. How are you feeling? Um, I've felt less tired before. <laughs> So just got to be grassy. This is uh, this is our baby spot, or this is where we're sleeping tonight. We haven't set up uh, our portal edges and hammocks and things yet, but um, how good's that view? So we'll be waking up in the morning, and um, plan tonight is to get at least another pitch or two in, so we've got a bit more of the wall done before we start tomorrow morning, and then uh, hopefully we'll be out sort of mid afternoon tomorrow. So I'm just under the um, the big roof. Tomorrow morning we'll get up and go up through there. Um, it's Ryan's lead. I'm pretty glad we're not sleeping up there. <laughs> pretty awesome spot. There's Mount Bogong over there in the background. Um, Mount Feathertar. Oh man, let's go into the Buchan Valley. Such an awesome spot. And the light just on the hills has started to go that afternoon glow. It's awesome. So Ryan and I descend back down to our campsite at Big Grassy and by the time I start abseiling, it's almost dark and we're both a bit fatigued and hungry. Being the local host, I gave Ryan the deluxe accommodation option and we also had a five star big wall dinner. Soggy wraps. <laughs> wow. Dinner of champions. Pretty delicious. It's pretty nice being able to get out like this, especially, especially after the year that's been uh, with the fires here in Northeast Victoria and across Australia and also the um, also COVID are restricting things a little bit. It's nice to get out and have some adventures like this and it's nice that you don't have to go too far from home as well. All right, it's 6 a.m. Just woke up in the hammock. Ryan slept in the portal edge last night and that sunrise. Woo! That sunrise is epic. Oh, this is one of the, one, the things I love about Buffalo Gorge in the mornings. There's a sunrise. Oh, not a bad way to wake up. You want some breakfast? I'd love some breakfast. Okay. Breakfast bagel. Peanut butter or jam. So a question that gets asked a fair bit is um, <coughs> what do you do if you have to uh, go to the bathroom and you have solid waste while you're climbing a wall like this? And the answer is 
a poo tube. So uh, you do your business into a um, into a plastic bag. Uh, you need to be pretty accurate, obviously, and then um, bag it up and put it inside this or a sealable container, and this gets dragged up behind our um, our main hole bag with all our other gear in it. So we're almost packed up. Um, Ryan is getting racked up and ready to lead the roof pitch. The big roof up there. Um, after that we've got three more pitches, awkward pitch, big chimney and yeah and a wider pitch to finish. The roof pitch is the last crux section and one of the main reasons why this climb is so epic. It definitely has the most exposure with 200 meters of air right below you. But once you get through this pitch, you're well on your way to the top. Just hanging out in space. We're definitely not the strongest climbers in the world, but what's fun about doing a route like this is that you're constantly having to problem solve. Okay. It's a real adventure. Start to see Crystal Brook Falls up now at Buffalo Gorge. And look at that view. Not long to go. <laughs> Last little bit, and it started raining. Uh, uh, yeah, we got 28 meters, then we're at the top. See all the rain coming over. How do you feel? Ah, uh, damp. Damp, <laughs> moist. Yeah. Feels a little bit more adventurous in the rain. Temperatures are pretty good though. It's not too bad. It was awesome climbing with Ryan. Having a good partner means you can be a little more adventurous, knowing you can get yourself through any situation and still have fun. <laughs> we made it. Woo! Nice work, dude. Yeah, man. Sick. When you do any kind of big mission like this, it's always good to celebrate with something special at the top. A whole thing of toe blowing because it was unspecial and we needed something. I don't know if uh, that's enough for us. Not a good day out. Made it a little bit more adventurous that we finished in the rain. So there's a poster on my wall. Uh, it's on my pantry actually. And it says dream climbs and hikes. And Ozymandias is one of them. So tick. Um, awesome, good experience. <laughs> on to the next one, huh? So if you're still watching, this is our longest video and biggest adventure yet. So thank you for your support and stay tuned for the next one.